So bitches, let's make some lucumatas. And for anyone who doesn't know what lucumatas are, it is the Greek version of a donut. So in a large bowl, I have one packet of active dry yeast and I'm gonna add one cup of lukewarm water to that. And two tablespoons of sugar. So I'm gonna mix all of that together and then once everything kind of looks dissolved, I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. Wait at the five minutes, I'm gonna add my flour. I'm using three and one fourths cup. One teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of olive oil. And the last ingredient for our dough is a cup of some warm milk. And then I'm gonna mix all of this together until I get a smooth dough. So here is my dough and now I'm gonna cover it and let it sit for at least an hour. All right, so it's been an hour and here's what my dough looks like. I have some vegetable oil heating up on the stove and we're gonna get ready to fry them. So the way that we're gonna make our donuts is you're gonna wanna get a little bit of oil on your hand and also a little bit of oil on a spoon. With your hands, you're gonna grab some dough and then you're gonna kind of squeeze it out through your thumb to make kind of like a little round ball and then scoop it on the spoon. And then that way you have the perfect little amount to drop into the oil. All right, my oil is ready, so I'm ready to drop in my first lucumave. Make sure you do not overcrowd your pan. Okay, so I have six little balls in there right now and I'm gonna wait for them to get golden brown. So these are like the perfect color that you want them, but I'm gonna let them go for just a little bit longer. All right, my first batch is done, so I'm gonna take them out and then let them sit on some paper to drain off any excess oil. I'm just gonna repeat that process. All right, they're done, but before we do our toppings, let's take a peek inside. Ah, <gasps> perfect. You can add whatever kind of toppings you like, like Nutella is really good, but the Greek way to eat these is with some honey, lots and lots of cinnamon, and some walnuts. And there you go, bone at the teeth, bitches. Cheers. Mmm, so good. My Thea makes these every new year, and honestly, I think mine are better. Someone give me a restaurant.